Good morning everyone, welcome to a new video of Westing Fishing. Today we're, go we're fishing with a new size creek crawl, a 6.5 centimeter. And uh, I've just uh, hooked up to a big perch. First fish of the day. And it's a beautiful fish. Beautiful fish on the, on the creek crawl. I could see the fish on my sonar and uh, we tried uh, multiple casts with different lures and the creek crawl was the, the good choice because it was uh, totally inhaled. And it's a beautiful fish, nice colors, red fins. Let me rope. We're on the good spot. This is what you want. When you are looking for perch, try to find structure. Otherwise, try to find old weed beds because the perch like to lay on the bottom between the weeds. Yeah, dan. Het is het mooie. Ah, super. Such small bite. It's just incredible. I could see the fish on my uh, live scope. I could, I could see the fish chasing the lure and not taking it. And after two casts, it took the lure. Oh yeah, <laughs> what a beautiful fish. I changed my leader because the fishing today is pretty uh, tough. I took a very long leader of uh, around uh, two and a half feet and uh, this is the reward. A very tricky perch but again on the 6.5 centimeter creek crawl this lure is something else. It's just a perfect crayfish imitation. It wasn't coming off either. Again on the 6.5 creek crawl in the watermelon red color and look at this beautiful specimen and the bite was very slow just a little tap and then I reeled in a little bit and I felt pressure and then I set the hook it's very important when you fish with a Carolina rig when you feel something wait a little bit just feel a little bit and when you feel the pressure then set the hook beautiful fish Je begint te zwemmen. Ja, er liggen er twee. Ja, ja, komt ie, komt ie. Ja. Oh, het oh, is een nice one. All right, guys. It's a few hours later, the fishing slowed down. I could see some perch on my live scope, but they wouldn't took the, the creek crawl or a shetties. So uh, I put a shetties hollow on a Carolina rig. And uh, I've got quite some success the last uh, few months. And this is the result. Really nice perch. I think it's around 45 centimeters. Beautiful condition. Got it on my uh, W10 Finesse TNC rod. This is uh, top of the line rod with uh, Fuji Torsite guides, a carbon, uh, carbon uh, reel seat. Really, really sensitive. You can uh, feel it when they are smelling on it. <laughs> Again, a beautiful fish. And on a day like this, there's almost no wind. It's uh, just uh, really nice. All right, it's time to, time to measure the fish and put it uh, back because I've seen a, a few other perch. 
let's see, I think it's around 44, 45 centimeters. And it's 44.8. <laughs> really, really nice. It's a nice old fish, you can see on the mouth, you see all these little uh, battle scars. These are from a little crayfish that they tried to take between the rocks. Really, really nice old fish. It's time to put it back. In the winter time, I uh, search the perch with my Garmin system, with my side scan, and with my side view, I can see where the perch are. Perch are usually in small groups of four, five, six fish. And when I have located the perch, I put my electric engine down and I point my live scope towards the perch to see where they are. And then I cast towards them. Sometimes I see them bite, sometimes I don't. But this is a really effective method to catch the big, big birds because they sometimes they are really tricky and you can really see them on the live scope watching your bait and then bam they take it all right guys it's the end of the day i hope you enjoyed the video uh, i just wanted to talk a little bit about the, the gear we use today i mainly use the w6 finesse tnc rod 5 to 15 gram with a size 2000 reel on it, 10 pound line and a Carolina rig. The Carolina rig was by far the best uh, technique of the day and it was really difficult and then when it's difficult I tend to use a longer leader and the lure of the day was the Cree Craw in the 6.5 centimeter in the color watermelon red. What we also use today was a Carolina rig with the new Shetty's Hollow. This is a new lure, perfect for drop shot fish, fishing on a jig head, but also today on a Carolina rig, fishing it really, really slow above the structure. With the eight centimeter Shetty's Hollow, I use a 1-0 hook. That way you have enough space to hook the fish and it swims perfectly straight. I tend to use a little tungsten bead on the hook, but today it, was, it wasn't necessary. I fished this Shetty's Hollow with the new W10 Finesse TNC rod. This rod is perfect for all kinds of finesse fishing. You can use it with a Carolina rig, you can use it with a, with a normal jig head. Shetty's Hollow is available in different sizes and different colors. I really like to use it on a normal jig head too. And that's all. I hope you liked the video. Try these lures and hopefully you catch a big fish. <laughs>